any kind of uh, anything in Curious Ants on that? Um, you know, I I don't. Uh, I didn't see it. Yeah, that's a great question. I should add something. I'll I'll add that to, to the list of things to add. So, it, but it really depends on a, a good robots.txt depends on the platform you're using. So, number one, with WordPress, the only thing we really want to exclude Google from seeing is WP Admin. Old school robots.txt files used to prevent Google from seeing the JavaScript and the CSS, which is not a best practice at this point because Google is using them to see how the site renders mobily to see if it passes the mobile friendly test and using it for page speed things like the web core vitals. So it needs to see all that. So if you're preventing Google in the, in the WP content for WP includes even, you okay. would, potentially be a hurt in Google's ability to see all that it needs to see to evaluate the quality of a website. All right, so let me bring up, what do we say right now? And I'll, I will add while you're looking at that, remember that robots.txt is a suggestion to Google that it respects typically. If it thinks something is excluded that shouldn't be, it will warn you in the search console notifications. But it also will give nefarious or malintended spiders access to things you might not want it to see. So for a, it doesn't password protect files, right? I think I've mentioned this before. Don't hide your credit card files in a CSV with your robots.txt file. You're basically telling malicious spiders where oh, to yeah. go get that stuff. It's not password protected. It is a list of pages you don't want spiders to go to. Bad spiders will try to go to them. So don't put anything secure behind it thinking you're protected. Okay, so what we've got in it, we've got user agents. Let me, could I just put what we have in chat? Yeah. Okay, that's easier. Okay, so this is, oops, why didn't it copy? There we go. Um, okay, excuse the formatting, but yeah, it's fine. put it in, in chat. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, good, okay. So, okay. Google does not respect the allow command. So that, for Google, it doesn't really do anything, but that's okay. Because what you said is you got user agent asterisk, which means every user agent, the following rules apply to it, right? And then disallow admin, great. Disallow track back, R XML, RP, okay, so these are, this is actually pretty old WordPress. I don't think trackback even exists in WordPress installs anymore. I thought you can still do those, but maybe. Right. I And I don't think XML RPC exists in WordPress anymore, does it? Yeah. You're a developer. Yeah. It does. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So, again, that's just telling Google not to go there or the bots not to go there, but it doesn't prevent them from going there. Correct. Right? Correct. And, um, yeah. So, what I like about this, especially is the sitemap listing, listing the sitemap in the arc, in the, uh, the XML sitemap in the robots.txt file. That's super important. Number one, remember when Google visits your site, it doesn't visit every page of your site every time it visits. Right. However, every time right. it visits your site, it will look at the robots.txt file. And so if you've got your XML sitemap listed, it will look at that. Now, what it will do is it will then determine has anything changed in your sitemap since the last time it came for a visit. It'll prioritize the new things. So what you're saying is that having the sitemap in the robots.txt will make it easier for them. It will make it quicker to see the stuff that's changed, right? Mm -hmm. Now, 
again, it doesn't mean Google comes to your site every day. Sometimes it comes once a week, depending on the, the, the what I've had one client that it, it would come once a day or more, but okay. most clients, it comes every few days or every week if it's a really new site. Um, but this helps Google to say, hey, spend your time on these pages because they're new, which really we want Google to look at, right? The new stuff, sure. the stuff that's changed. Um, otherwise, it will just kind of start at the beginning and crawl through. Uh, but it won't, even with the XML site map, it still won't crawl the whole page. It, it will download the whole site map, but it won't crawl the whole site. And I don't know what this uh, a user agent seek port bot is. Yeah, that was that was something I think I brought up. I don't know if it was last week or the week before. Oh. The, the the hosting company said, hey, this this looks like this bot, this generic search engine thing is doing a little bit too much they say that they will respect that so they recommended putting that in there okay yeah so it, this is a crawl delay and um it, that just prevents yeah the over server from being overloaded yeah um, yeah but it is because there is no disallow direction it is allowing it to access everything sure and i think that's fine yeah right yeah um okay. But it's even, it's even, oh, okay, yeah, actually, yeah. So great. Yeah, I think this is fine. There's nothing in there that would be a red flag to me. Okay, good. Um, you know, the, the classic mistake is accidentally having a robots.txt that's disallow everything, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Which is, is a good developer practice, but actually it's kind of an old school developer practice, but um Oftentimes, developers forget to remove that or edit it once they launch. It yeah, it seems like my launch like... list process number one. Check that. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, thank you for that. Those cool. are the questions for you. Awesome. Yeah. No. By the way, I, I have the. I don't. I don't know if you know this in Nawa, but I have a two documents in Curious Ants. One is the website launch checklist, and one is the uh, website design checklist. So you can access those. I try to keep them up to date as things change, but they're designed to work together. One is, hey, we're going to, when we go for a website design, this is how it should be designed. So it helps developers, designers understand what the, what success will look like if it's all implemented. Okay. And then the checklist is designed on literally 30 seconds after you launch the site, what you should start. And I think number one is check the robots.txt file <laughs> or the yeah. uh, the uh, WordPress setting, like do not allow search engines from exec indexing the site. Like, I don't know how many times that's uh, forgotten to be uploaded. Uh, and a friendly reminder, when you have a dev server or a dev site, it should always live behind a password protected directory. Um, mm. That that is the only true way to prevent Google from seeing it. Is is listed behind a password protected directory so that because Google cannot enter a password, so it will never be able to see it. If you just robots and, and disallow search engines, well, everyone can see it. Theoretically, Google could see it too. Could cause problems. So. Just a friendly reminder, don't rely on robots to uh, hide a site that's in development servers. Okay. 